The situation in Gaza is ever evolving, so let's take a look at the situation right now. Alright, so the two political parties, or the two far-right political parties in Israel, the Religious Zionism Party and the Jewish Power Party, both of them part of Benjamin Netanyahu's coalition government. They have said that they would not be supporting any sort of hostage deal. It looks like it doesn't matter, a hostage deal is happening. Alright everyone, welcome to KICK. I hope you enjoy this channel and if you do subscribe here we just talk about a lot of current events and we go a little bit deeper the goal is to learn what's going on in the world and today we have an update on the Israel Hamas conflict all right Israel's cabinet members just concluded a meeting regarding a potential hostage deal reports suggest that Qatar is aiming to announce the deal as early as Tuesday to release civilian hostages taken by Hamas on October 7th the negotiations ongoing for the past six weeks seem to be on the brink of success with the US President Joe Biden confirming the efforts to retrieve the hostages are now very very close. So something that I just took from that is basically Qatar is the middleman. Who is Ham Hamas? Like or is this a group of people? Is this one person? When they say they're speaking with Hamas, can I get a name? Because not having a name is sort of a disconnect. And if Qatar is speaking to between Hamas and Israel and they're the middlemen, I'd like a little bit more information on who's doing these deals, what's going on, some names with, without actual names. For instance, we know the most important people in the world, but Hamas, a group that's basically, you know, come on guys, and we don't know their name. I need names. I need the more details on this deal. I want to know if after the ceasefire, does this continue? So, so far it's a four day ceasefire, four to five day ceasefire, which means that no one, no bullets will be firing while hostages are exchanged, right? But once hostages are exchanged, because Israel will be giving back um, prisoners and hostages to Hamas as well. So because that is being exchanged, there'll be a ceasefire. But once that exchange is done, is there still a ceasefire or do you just go back to fighting? The UN already stated that this is a humanitarian crisis and that there should be a ceasefire across the board. So is that what's going to happen? Let's hope so. But right now, it's all about the hostages and we have to make sure these people get back to their families safely.